Well, I drew a little bit as a kid, um, but not a ton. I was way more into music. Probably like 12 years old, I got a guitar. Got into bands in high school and played in bands in college. I really didn't get into drawing until I turned 30, like five years ago. And I had friends in bands and I played in bands. So I just started like designing flyers for, for shows and stuff, like our band shows. And um, Through that, I started to fall in love with some of this like detailed gig poster art. And I reached out to a few artists who gave me advice on how to get going with things. And um, one poster artist named Justin Santora gave me a huge vote of confidence when he said, you should be getting paid for your work, like some of my first couple posters he saw. So um, I took that to heart and really tried utilizing his advice, which was like, you know, reach out to bands, learn how to print. If you can print, your own posters, you have a shot at actually making a little bit of money on these things. I bought a few books, got a lot of printing knowledge on the internet. The first year or two, it wasn't like there was much money to be made. As I learned how to do it, it was, you know, doing it for local bands and smaller bands that, you know, could spare a hundred bucks or something to get a few posters. I knew that if I was going to make a go of this, I had to go at it hard. So I was just spending like really late nights at first. The art box just sounded fun and interesting. With this urban jungle theme, I just sort of brainstormed a few other ideas. It's fully in my wheelhouse because it's, you know, urban jungle just makes me think of like decaying building with nature taking over and things. Um, Immediately, I knew that it was a good fit for me. I sat down with my sketchbook and quickly sketched out like a brick wall with sort of vines overtaking it and some ferns in the foreground and stuff. I knew I wanted to incorporate some local wildlife. Um, so the front of it, I wanted it to feature just some, some smaller animals. The main thing I wanted the eye to be drawn to is like a wooden sign hanging from the window that says Eugene Weekly. Um, but kind of framed in ivy and stuff. So I just have like a squirrel kind of skirting the the, op the opening um, part and, and a salamander on, on the top corner. There were some some challenges. I'm still, as I do the sides and back, I've got to wrap my head around if I can have, you know, how to draw it so a vine will go around the front and then curve around the side and... Um, I'm obviously not drawing on a piece of paper that's folded into a into that space, so I'll have to brainstorm how to do that. When you guys reached out about the art box, it just sounded like a really fun way to, to be involved in the community. Like I said, I'm kind of new here, don't know a lot of local artists and stuff, and to be, um, you know, to have my work featured by the publication I pick up every week just sounded awesome.